What is going on guys? Today I bring you something epic. Today I bring exclusive European Dead Zone gameplay. Big thanks to Activision and Bungie for sending me the footage. Today I want to talk about new things within this planet and many others and that is planetary vendors. But before we get into the video guys I am giving away a Rockstar Destiny 2 in-game exclusive gear code. To win one simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. Okay so yesterday a video of 30 minutes of the European Dead Zone was a late. Uh, when watching it we saw the usual public events and so forth. But the first thing when watching it that popped up to me was when Guardians were slaying foes that items were dropping. Now besides the usual engrams and so forth there were tokens dropping called EDZ tokens as well as Dusk Light Shards. So what are these? Well they're actually used for a new vendor within the European Dead Zone called Devroom K. Now Devroom, a new vendor to the game, is located at the top of a rundown building who we see peeking out of a window. Now I've actually seen this guy within a few trailers in the past. He is a dead zone scout, so basically a vendor set within the European dead zone. And you know what this leads me to believe people? That there may be these kind of vendors on all planets. Planetary vendors who offer exclusive race themed gear or planetary themed gear. Gear set to that very planet which may in turn rotate each week like other vendors we are used to it makes sense why would they exclude one planet and apply a vendor to it and not the others the name kind of gives it away the fact that he's known as a dead zone scout scout being the key word here scouts who entail what the enemy are doing and report back they scout over them it would make sense that these so-called scouts are on every planet and that guys to me sounds absolutely epic now we see this fella has reputation which can obviously be leveled up now you level them up by doing certain things on said planets and getting those items to drop, the tokens and shards. They are used to level these vendors up. Now there are possible other ways of ranking them up like planetary missions and public events and maybe even quests and so forth. But in this video we see this was the only way. Away from this vendor for a second though, we actually saw that Glimmer goes to over 50,000 as well which is awesome. I hated it being capped at 25k, I seriously did. Now the tokens and shards you collect are in turn used to level this vendor's rep up which you then receive a legendary loot at a rank up kind of like a package from a vendor but instead we see a legendary engram uh, which kind of opens up into well this instance we get two weapons and a shader shader like a consumable has a number two on it which leads me to believe you can apply this to two different items obviously but question is is the shader limited to just armor we don't know yet the weapons look cool we saw flash and thunder and blue shift both power weapons Shader was called Dead Zone Bark. The shader icon itself, as you can see, is different and not what we're used to. And like I said, this shader could be used for armor and weapons. We don't know yet. So yes guys, planetary vendors as well as the normal set of vendors sounds amazing to me. Just adds to the grind I love. The question is, will these planet scouts have certain quests and missions for you to do each week? We don't know yet. It's actually important to say that no doubt that the leaked footage yesterday of the 30 minutes of the European Dead Zone was obviously a pre-build of the game. is isn't going to be the full game. So what these vendors on these planets offer could change when the full game releases. It's important to say that. So yes guys, what we saw within the 30 minutes of gameplay was nothing short of epic. And I cannot wait for the full game. This makes me even more hyped and I don't even know if that's possible. And on that note guys, I am out. Tell me what you think about planetary vendors down below. Would you welcome it? I doubt anybody wouldn't. But guys, thanks for stopping by as always. If you're new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you as always on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand But you and I Get it right